So one month on, the Rolex authorized dealers are still pushing out their watches. What should you guys out there go straight to the gray market and buy? So the first model I want to talk about is the Rolex Yachtmaster 40 mil. For you guys out there who follow the channel and we see it so many times in the comments, it's one that we get requested to talk about and they come in two dial variations. So it's the stainless steel Yachtmaster 40 mil. They come in the blue dial with the red marker. They come with the rhodium dial with the blue second hand marker. And for me, that watch in the current market is definitely one for you guys. You should be going straight to the gray. The blue dial, as we've said in other videos, is now an underlist watch for us to buy and for you guys out there. And the rhodium dial is just a list or overlist watch. And in my videos, I've talked about this watch was £18,000 last year. The last ones we've had in, which was a few weeks ago, we were selling for around Twelve to thirteen thousand pound. The RRP is eleven three fifty. That watch now is on its way straight back down to the RRP of eleven three fifty, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was under RRP by the end of the year. A really nice watch, bit of a marmite. We'll sell more Submariners than the Yachtmasters, but for you guys out there wanting that watch. Go straight to the grey. Another model I want to talk to you guys about is the Steel and Gold Sea Dweller 43. We had two in recently, we just sold one last week. This particular one, the RIP is around about £15,000. We've sold two brand new ones for under £15,000. An extremely nice watch for the client looking for the bigger watch than the ordinary Submariner. We've got one here. So it looks exactly the same combination as that 18 karat yellow gold and stainless steel with a black dial, but a much bigger version. That's one for you guys out there. They are on the gray market. They are under RRP. Do not do the dance. Just go straight to the gray. Really nice watch as well. Whenever we get them in, we will sell them within a matter of days or hours. So another one I'll talk to you guys about, which is definitely under RRP and you should be going straight to the gray market, is the full 18 karat rose gold GMT Master 2. RRP 35k, we can buy and sell you one of those brand new for under RRP. There may be some room to go on that a bit further down, but for me, do not buy from your ID. Go straight to the grey. You can buy yourself a beautiful pre-owned in nice condition for around 30 to 32, and a brand new one, one I would say between 33 and 34k. Nice watch, but go straight to the grey. So the next section I want to talk about is what's just over RRP. Again, you should be going straight to the grey. So if you don't have a good relationship with your ID, or you genuinely do not want to wait a few months or years for this watch, you should be going straight to the grey market. The first one I want to talk about is the steel and gold Datejust 41s. Not the ladies, not the 36s, predominantly the 41s. The RRP on these, depending on the dial, are between 12150 and 12450. We can sell you that watch for just over RRP, including the Wimbledon dials, including some of the really nice chocolate dials. You know, really, really nice watches. But for us to buy, obviously we can buy under RRP and we can sell for just over. So rather than go to your AD, go straight to the grey, make sure it's a full set, make sure it's brand new, it's unworn, it's exactly what you want. And we can sell you that watch depending on the dial for just under list or just over RRP. So another one for you guys out there, it's an extremely popular range. It'd be no surprise it's a Submariner Day and it's the steel and gold range again. So we have the two combinations. We have the steel and gold black dial. We also have the steel and gold blue dial, AKA the bluesy. We actually sold the bluesy a couple of days ago, so we can't show you that, but we do have the black one here. So I'm just gonna show you that one. This particular one, uh, RRP on this is now is 13,150, and that's the same for the blue or the black dial version. This is one more for a, a client wanting something not as flashy as the blue. We can sell you this watch for under 14,000 pound brand new, bearing in mind the RRP is 13,150, and we can sell the blue one for a touch more. Again, some of you clients can physically get this watch and wait sort of three, six or 12 months, but if you're not willing to do that, and you definitely want it, it's one that you can pick up on the grey market just over RRP and extremely popular, so do not waste your time. Choose your deal and go straight to the grey. The other range I want to talk about is the Sea Dweller 43 Steel one. Very popular watch. We've actually sold out here at LWC, just over RRP, RRP is 11,150. We sell the pre-owned ones for 12, the brand new ones for around 13, just over. We will be restocking as soon as we can. Really nice watch, just over RRP. So definitely, maybe not the easiest watch to get, 
a few watches you'll probably get it do you want to go through that possibly not so definitely that's one for you guys go straight to the gray so the other one that doesn't get a lot of love out there and a lot of you guys definitely request me to give my opinion on it is the Rolex Air King. So the Rolex Air King, we don't actually have one in stock. We did actually have the older reference in a couple of weeks ago, sold it to one of our good clients watching the channel. I'm sure you're watching, so congratulations. But definitely one for you guys that is a Marmite watch. It's something that is definitely, you love it or you hate it. It's got a really unique dial with the green and yellow or gold markers. They have improved it slightly. They have made it from the rounded case, a bit slimmer to the Milgauss, to the new sportier look. It's got the crown guards on it. It's got a nicer shape, looks a bit more sportier. Couple of differences to the dial. But for you guys out there, I think we've actually got one coming in next couple of days. We'll be going live on the website. The RRP and one say around 616263, somewhere around there. We'll probably be selling it around about 10 to 15% over RRP. Do not do the dance go straight to the gray. Another one for you guys out there is the OP range, the Oyster Perpetuals, depending on the dial, all the top dials have gone. The color red, the mustard, the Tiffany, but an OP range, so you've got the silver with the gold markers, you've got the blue, the black, obviously the dark green, we hadn't, we've unfortunately sold it, but definitely, uh, the, depending on the dial combination, do not wait three to six months. They've come down quite a lot. They might still come down a little bit more, but you can pick one of those up between six and seven thousand pounds depending on the dial. So definitely one for you guys out there. Go straight to the grey. So this particular range is again is just over RRP, it is the Explorer range. A lot of you guys out there love this watch. Very simple, classic looking watch. They come in the 36 and the 40. Again, we do keep restocking them, we do keep selling them. Not a lot over RRP, I would send them between 10 and 15%, depending on the 36 or 40. We've got another 40 mil coming in, so that's one for you guys out there. You know, don't do the dance, spend the extra 10, 15%, go to a nice dealer, you know, a proper well-established credible company and pull the trigger on that. It's something that you're not gonna have to do the dance and it's readily available. And we're seeing quite a lot more of the 40 millimeter coming through. And we've had a lot more inquiries and we get a lot of people clients out there trying to sell to us that watch, which will mean the prices will keep coming down. So 10, 15% of RP, I think that's a good buy in the current market and a nice watch actually. So the next section I want to talk about are the hard to get watches. These are watches for you guys out there who are already doing the AD dance, you're already buying watches and you have no sign of our sight of this watch whatsoever. They're promising you in the watch, you need to be going straight to the grey. Do not take other watches to get these because in the current market, you can go readily to the grey market, you can buy them, they are extremely hard to get. I know how much money you guys and the clients that do get these watches have to spend to get them and the relationship they have to build. And for me, in the current market, it just is not worth it. So the first watch I wanna talk about is the Rolex Skydweller range, the steel professional one. I actually have two here, which I'm gonna show you. They come in three down combinations, actually four now, because you have the mint. So they come in the white, the black, the beautiful blue, and the mint. And for me, either one of those four dials, you can go straight to the gray market. And if you want the white or black, you're only gonna pay for the white dial anywhere between sort of 15 to 20% of our RP. The black dial, probably another 5%. The blue dial, as we all know, the most sort of and hardest one to get. I actually have two here, so I'm just gonna grab them both for you. So we've actually got both. So we've actually got the, that's the new reference actually, which is the 3-3 reference. This is the older discontinued reference, the 3-2. So we've got the blue one on the Oyster. We've got the blue one on the Jubilee. This one here, you can pick up for around 30 to 40% over RRP for both of these models. This one's just under 20, this one's just over 20. Again, you know, an extremely, extremely hard watch to get. From where they were last year of 30 to 33K, for me, I think they're great value watch for the money. And when you compare them to some of the other steel professional, I think an even better value for money. The mint green, there's definitely more for that to come back in the current market. I do think for that one, you know, definitely sit on the fence a bit longer. If you want to buy it, definitely go to the grey, but I'd just wait a few more weeks or months. I think that'll come back to just over this one, around about the 22 to 24, 25K. For me then, I think it represents good value. I think eventually, 
these probably come back to similar prices, the mint green and the blue. Maybe due to it being a new release, it might be just a touch over. I do think they will come back to nail the same price. So definitely go to the grey on those. Really nice watch, and like I say, an extremely hard watch to get. So the next one I'm talking about is the GMT Master Range. The ones that you guys find really popular, you need to go straight to the grey market. And it includes the GMT Master Pepsi, the blue and red bezel, and also the GMT Master 2 Batgirl the blue and black model, and also the GMT Master 2 Sprite. So the first one we'll talk about is the Pepsi. We know from all our sort of contacts in the industry and a lot of you viewers out there watch the channel, that they've reduced production of that particular watch by 80%. So if you're trying to get that watch from your ID, take my word for it, you have little or no chance of getting it. Do not get me wrong, and I'm gonna say in the comments, there'll be the odd client out there who will get this watch, but for the majority of clients out there watching and wanting to get that watch from your ID, go straight to the gray. Our app here around 991, we'll get one in, we will sell it same day or the next day. We are looking for as many new or nearly new as we can possibly get the last year, 2022 or 2023, models. The, like I said, the RRP on that for us to sell is between 17 and 18,000 pounds and we will sell on the same day. So definitely one for you guys out there. Rolex are having manufacturing problems with the bezel, in particular the red colour in the bezel. So if you want to jump on Google, please jump on Google, do a bit of homework, you'll see why there's not many on the market and they're getting bought straight away. The other one is the Batgirl. A really, really popular watch for you guys out there. Go straight to the grey market, not an easy watch to get. Definitely one for you guys out there. Might be your second, third, fourth or fifth purchase before you get it. Due to the current climate and what's going on in the world, I would definitely recommend going straight to the grey. Pay another 20, 30% over RRP, somewhere around there. And the final one I'll talk about is the Sprite. Covered this when it first came out, 20 to 25 kit. Absolutely ridiculous prices. The, watch, the price on that particular watch now, we've sold an Oyster for around £16,000 and we've sold a Jubilee for over £17,000. And for me, that's where they need to be. Sitting around the other GMT prices, I think that's fair value in the money. And for you savvy guys out there, I genuinely do believe that's a bit of a sleeper for the long term. A left-hand drive, not many produced, they'll have a short run. And for you guys who have a bit of money, you can put it away for a few years, if it was me, I'll be pulling trigger and I'll be sticking it away.